We love Workspace because it collects all student learning activities in one place. The magic column here is three. This is where students will submit their work. So you can see right here, this Google Drawings assignment, I have two students who have submitted and two who have started. So I'm gonna click on here and let's start to investigate. So these two students have completed their work. What's great is I can click on here and it will automatically take me to the activity that they're working on. I click back here and I can do the same for student 19. But I've noticed while I've looked at student 16, I'm not necessarily convinced that they have done everything that they need to do. So now I can return for edit. So now you'll see that the numbers change. I'm gonna check out these students who have started. 16 and 17 have told me, no, no, I'm finished, don't worry. So I'm gonna click these two buttons and now I can see that this button is now available to me, submit for those students. So now I can submit for those students and you'll see back on, I can then identify who is working on that assignment. I can also see here, this is group evidence. So if I click on here, I'll be able to be to told that the student group called Y Student Creation, which is the same group that's listed over here, this is the activity they're working on collaboratively. Again, I am managing this learning activity through a workspace. We love Workspace because it also allows us to view a few different things about how our students are doing as they're working through the workspace. So I'm gonna click up here to activity summary. You'll notice that it will tell me what evidence is overdue, who has not met some of the due dates that are connected to the third column. It also tells me when were they were last active. So, and then it also gives me an option to email them if I'm a bit concerned they haven't actually done that activity. I can also scroll, scroll down here and I can see what evidence has been submitted, who submitted it, and how long ago they submitted it. Again, I can open it, I can return for utter and turn for final. So again, a similar function on each card, but now here it's all in one place. The next thing I have here is evidence activity. So again, what is in the actual evidence card? So you can see here who the participant is. So you can see that I have returned for final for these assignments. And again, the assignments are all listed right there. And I can scroll down and see who has started, who submitted, and who has been returned for final. Really, really handy overview of how your class is doing in that particular workspace. Another thing we really, really love is when I actually go through and I can actually use this grade box to indicate the level of achievement or give formative assessment to those students. So this student 16, I'm really, really happy with what they've done. This student, maybe I'm gonna give a level four, depending on what my assessment is. And even more amazingly, if I right click, I can use emojis. So now I'm just gonna put some emojis because I had a lot of love up for that assignment. So now I can click on these three boxes and I now am going to return for final, okay? Again, one student started, none have submitted because all three have been assessed. Another thing we really like about um, Workspace is that this automatically uh, created grade sheet allows us to collect all the grading information as we go through our single workspace. So I'm gonna hit grade and you can see now, I have several assignments that have been graded for our students. Okay, it collects the student information here on this side. It tells me what group they belong to. So this might be helpful if it's cohort A and cohort B. And I have their, not only their group assignment here, but their individual assignments as well.